Private Safari um, has three offices in, in Africa. We're a DMC, working uh, mainly in the FIT leisure business, the group leisure business, and in the mice business. And here at Meetings Africa, we represent our mice products, which is mainly our incentive products which we have developed for South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, um, Uganda, Angola and Congo Brazzaville. For Namibia we have mainly our German or European clients with um, the German speaking countries being the most active at the moment as well as the Benelux countries being active um, and we see an increased business coming in from South America at the moment. Uh, for South Africa we have a very strong British, British client base, American client base as well as a German client base and um, on top of that a very strong Indian and Chinese um, client base. Um, traditionally, the East African countries are visited mostly by Americans, Europeans and um, the um, British um, clients. Um, at the moment, uh, we have um, more British clients visiting um, East Africa and Germans. Currently, Namibia is doing very well. Um, we had a, um, the same problems that South Africa had with the Ebola threat, where people were um, concerned to visit South or Africa as such, as a continent. But slowly but surely people start understanding that it's not a threat for Southern Africa, which makes selling both countries easier. We've got a very solid uh, client base and a high return client base for Namibia, which makes selling Namibia a lot easier at the moment than um, any other African country. Kenya is a total different game. We've got the unstable political situations in Somalia and Ethiopia and our surrounding countries there. Um, and the perception that Kenya is closer to the Ebola stricken countries also causes that we have um, serious loss of business. Currently the coastal business is completely um, gone. But the inland business visiting the national parks in Kenya and Tanzania is running very well, as well as Zanzibar is doing very well. But we hope to have the um, coastal business recover very soon. What we do, especially in Namibia, we've got a very strong community-based tourism setup. Um, in fact, it's one of the best currently in the world. Um, and it makes it easy for us as a tour operator to support those um, very well-equipped and sustainable products that are being offered in the country. In such a way that currently um, many of the community-based tourism operators have become our preferred suppliers, that we do work with them. The same goes for South Africa. Wherever there is a community community-based operation or where there is a traditional village or where there is um, uh, um, activities offered by um, our black communities. We try to support them, we use them, but for the communities itself we try to support wherever we can and build them in in every tour. It's not always possible to give it in every single tour, but I would say about 90% of our tours accept it and um, it's a very loved and liked product. I think at the moment the biggest thing in the SADC region is the uni visa. We need a uni visa urgently, where a tourist has one visa for all the SADC countries. Um, the sporadic changes and the erratic changes in visa regulations for countries in Southern Africa um, will be and are a big threat to our industry and to everybody involved in this industry. Therefore, um, we want to urge the governments to be very careful um, as to what they um, decide to do with the immigration laws, what they implement and what impact it will have on the tourism industry. And in fact, if those regulations that they are implementing are of need, um, that, they with, um, that they need to be implemented instead of being cons um, considering the tourism industry in it.